This is Jeff with Intempo Software again. Today we're going to talk about creating a reservation, um, taking a credit card in our Curbstone integration. So start with the reservation. Customer wants to call to reserve something for next week, wants to pay with a credit card. Put in this information. Now this customer has been here before, which is convenient. So I'm going to select the job where we're going to deliver the equipment to, which will be maybe his house. Put in the estimated return date. He needs it for a week. He's going to take a, say, a trailer. Any suggested items we can select. But I'm going to skip out of that. So for one week, trailer rental, it's $150. For in incidental, maybe damages, uh, whatever you want to charge extra on this, I want to maybe cover it just for increases deposit in case he needs it an extra day. I may charge a $200 deposit for this item. Okay, and he's going to say, well, yeah, do you have a card on file? Yes, I do. I've been here before. OK, great. Take a MasterCard. Then he says, oh, hold on a second. I don't want to use the MasterCard. I want to use a Visa. Oh, OK, well, I can simply just cancel out of that transaction. I can say I can go to what we call our isolated payment terminal, which would be a device or browser you have that's opened up in a second window. And I can say I want to select the isolated payment terminal. Press enter. And then in our Curbstone portal window, we click the ready button. And in our Curbstone portal window, we will a window will pop up and we can enter the person's credit card information directly through the portal. So we're not touching rental man. We're not writing it down on a piece of paper. So we're going to say this credit card number is going to be expiration of 1225 and this number is going to be this uh, CVV number. I can press enter. It's going to authorize, verify the address, come back and return. And I get back into rental and that transaction has now been completed. So the next time I come into that customer's transaction, I want to update his rental. Maybe I want to extend that contract. I can select that contract by a specific date. Once I get to the final review screen, we already have a deposit, you know, so he owes us more than what our deposit covers. So I want to take an additional deposit. I can come over here and add in another $1,500, specify the pay method of credit card, press enter. It's going to give me the window of which card do I want to use for this particular customer. So I can increase the deposit just by selecting that. And that now is going to capture additional monies on that card for the additional deposit. 